I love my grandma, don't you? This is a world. This is a world premiere. This is a world. So hey y'all, welcome back to another vlog entry. You guys, I got a couple of things I wanna talk about before I get to grandma. So was anyone aware that Donald Trump declared April Sexual Harassment Awareness Month? Like, should people just be aware that they could be engaging in some sexual harassment if they want it? Considering what he's been caught on the record saying, and most recently him coming out in support of Bill O'Reilly, who's like up against all of these sexual harassment charges. Not to mention all these big wigs up at Fox right now. Look it up. I'm not feeling Donald Trump today at all. He came out against this poison gas attack in Syria. And he's talking about it as if he's talking to a group of children. He's there talking about the innocent little babies, the babies, the innocent babies, the babies. And I'm thinking, was he not briefed on the fact that the US dropped a bomb on 90 women and children that were in the basement of a building in Mosul? Is he not aware that there have been over 700 deaths of children in US sponsored bombing since August of 2014? It seems to me that Mr. America's not so innocent, which Donald Trump did say when asked about Russia spying and intervening in the US election that got him elected. But he went on rambling about China, saying how China is raping the US, which is deeply ironic considering some statements he's made about touching women inappropriately, saying that what China was doing to the US was the greatest act of theft in the history of the world. So basically taking this land from the indigenous people who were here when the Europeans got here, that wasn't anything like an act of theft. You know, snatching some Africans and stealing their labor for about 300 years, that wasn't any kind of an act of theft. I'm not saying that we need to be harping on any of those things. Maybe I am saying we should be spending some time thinking about those things. But I'm not saying Donald Trump necessarily needs to dwell on those things, but just be aware of our own history when you're accusing another country of doing something to us. That's all. While he's meeting with Xi Jinping on his golf course at Mar-a-Lago, a golf course that was probably like the hunting grounds of some indigenous people, you know, back in the day. Gary Yurofsky is giving up activism. I picked this story up from a number of other YouTubers, The Vegan Cheetah, Mod Vegan. Regardless of what you think about Gary Yurofsky, he is someone who's helped to bring veganism into the, you know, mainstream, you know, for better or worse. I got a hug from grandma. So I checked out a vegan grandma's video that was like an open letter to the vegan community. It was so touching to get a shout out. I didn't even know that vegan grandma knew who I was. So it was really, really sweet. And you know what, Grandma? I love you right back. She has some really poignant things to say about what's been going on in the vegan YouTube community. And regardless of what anybody says, it's a community. When people you don't even know know you by name, you're in a community. You basically got neighbors. They may be neighbors on the other side of the world, but when we start to know each other, when we start to hear each other, when we start to care about each other, and when we start to express our feelings of affection, and sometimes non-affection. That's a sure sign that connections are being made, and that is something to celebrate. And we don't often have things that we can celebrate. Thank you so much, Vegan Grandma, for reminding me what it really means to be a part of a community of loving, caring individuals. They're supporting each other, keeping each other on track, allowing everyone to define their own track. So does anybody watch Philippe Shock Matthews? As I was doing research on my play, which happens to be about the invention of race in the United States, I came across a few really interesting videos which I watched again recently. One of them is Epigenetics, The Birth of a White Nation with Jacqueline Badalora, and the other is the epigenetics of racism with Jane Elliott. I feel like sometimes when I'm trying to talk about race with people, it's like I'm talking about 
air. And it's something that is very difficult to grasp and it's very difficult to kind of share with people in a way that's really concrete. These are two videos that I think serve to make these topics very concrete and they talk about the material effects of racism in our society, the manner in which race was constructed, how easy it is for labels to have a negative effect, and a material one. I'm gonna include information on those in the description box below. Thanks for joining me for another video and I'm gonna be holding out for some of grandma's vegan cookies. That's it for this video. Like it if you like it, share, comment, subscribe. This is Reg signing off. Love yourselves. Peace. And I love myself the way